Hi everybody, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Yesterday there was a magnitude 7.2 earthquake near the Fiji Islands. There was aftershocks and I posted those that were a magnitude 5.0 or larger. Uh, this is near a spreading center and this area near the island of um, Ada is actually um, warmer. The um, subduction slab down there underneath that's coming up is actually warmer in this area than other areas. The Kermadec Tonga subduction zone, which is drawn out in red here, is approximately 2,000 kilometers in length, which is about 1,200 miles. Uh, a comparison, the distance between New York City and Miami. The Tonga Trench is over 10 kilometers in depth at its lowest point, uh, which is about 6.2 miles, and is home to over 65% of the world's deepest earthquakes. This area corresponds to regions of anomalous warm upwelling mantle, proximal to the subduction plate. In these regions, the mantle wedge and possibly portion of the downgoing slab, which would be from the uh, Tonga Trench, is warmer and strongly dehydrated compared to adjacent normal arc sections. Um, they often talk about earthquakes with great depth. So this earthquake, the 7.2, was um, about 103 miles or 167 kilometers in depth. This would be considered intermediate earthquake. Often, water plays a role in intermediate depth earthquakes, those occurring between 70 and 300 kilometers below the Earth's surface. In many cases, water is released from the minerals, which is uh, weakening the rock around the fault and allows, allows the blocks to slip. But that was not the case in this earthquake. This is an area of spreading and an area where the uh, magma is actually warmer than the surrounding areas. There are three kinds of earthquakes. Shallow fault earthquakes, a fault that is um, breaks underneath your feet. Subduction zone earthquakes. The largest earthquakes ever recorded are subduction zone earthquakes. Deep earthquakes occur in the subduction ocean slab beneath the continental crust. So USGS gave it an intensity level of eight. If there was anyone close by, panel walls would have been thrown out of the frame. Fall of walls, monuments, chimneys. There would have been sand blowholes. Um, and drivers of automobiles would have definitely noticed. They would have been rocking like crazy. And you can see over here, um, this is a magnitude 5 to a magnitude 6. But there was really nothing close to that area. So on the felt reports, okay, here we got Tonga and uh, Nuke Alafa. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. And I have to look at Google Earth, see if there's anything between Tonga and here. There is Ada Island, but that is uninhabited. And yeah, the closest would probably be over here. Yeah, we got, um, remember the eruption of the Honga Tonga volcano. And then, um, yeah, I believe that would be Tonga there. Yeah, Tonga. So they must have monitors on Atta to say it was an intensity level of 8. All right. And that was intensity level there by Tonga, which means whoever did send in reports said it was felt indoors by many, outdoors by a few. At night, um, they would have been woken up. Dishes, windows, and doors would have been rattling. And automobiles rocked noticeably. But altogether, only nine people sent in reports to USGS. And like I said, it's a spreading center. Yeah, you can see how we got uplift and it spread apart. It was um, kind of like a thrust earthquake. Here on Geoscope, you can see how the fault moved uh, going probably east. And then there was uplift, which caused the spreading. Then on Tasami, 
Gov. They said there was no tsunami warning, watch, or threat. Yeah, right there. I guess it occurred at 1.06 p.m. Um, yeah, I assume that's local time. So I drew out in yellow the whole area that has spreading. Um, the largest earthquake ever to happen in this area or close to this area was over here towards the west. Um, that was in 2018, a magnitude 8.2. And then about 18 days later, I want to say it was, there was a magnitude 7.9, but they said that um, these two earthquakes were not related to each other. And the other area where it's um, heated, a little bit more heat from the magma coming up, is on this island right here, which is Fanawali. But this whole area, and that's why we got all these islands here. Yeah, this is a spreading area. And then the other heated area is, uh, is Eta. So if you have any thoughts or comments or questions, put them down below. So far, there's been 10 earthquakes within the last 24 hours. And most of them have been right here. This one here is that, uh, oh, the 7.0 isn't on here anymore. All right, maybe I didn't bring it out far enough. But there's the uh, 7.2. And more recently, there was... Um, Let's see, a 5.0 and then a 4.8. And then if I bring it out, you get more earthquakes. We got 16 now and, yeah, 28. But that would include this area down here, too. So thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. You can follow me on Twitter. I put a lot of news articles on there. And I'm also on Patreon if you wish to support the work that I do. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.